Hello Yellow 6 students. Today we're going to talk about T-charts. So yesterday you learned a little bit about step up to writing and the colors that we use and the reason we use those colors to help us organize. So we're going to get right into it today and we're going to talk about T-charts and why T-charts are so important when we want to organize our, our thoughts and as we write. So Say for instance you were given a writing prompt and your teacher um, asks you to write um, and answer this question. So here's the writing prompt. If you could take a vacation anywhere in the world, where would it be? Now instead of sitting there and thinking, I don't know what to write, I don't know how to begin, um, start with the t-chart. Now a t-chart will help you organize your thoughts, it'll help you jot down ideas that you have and you can always revise your t-chart you don't have to stick to what you wrote but it's a good way to get started and to organize before actually writing writing things down in paragraph form okay so start with a t-chart and the easiest way to do a t-chart is to get a piece of folder paper if you have a piece of folder paper you can fold it in half or in thirds um, to make a line down the middle or with your composition book just make a T okay it doesn't have to be fancy and at the top you'd label a topic and for this topic since our writing prompt is about if I could take a vacation anywhere in the world where would it be I would choose Florida so for my topic you noticed I wrote vacation in Florida so the first thing I would do is I would um, answer it by well, why? Why would why would it be Florida of all places in in the world? Why would it be Florida? And so I'm gonna call that. I'm gonna list it as point number one, which is my star idea. Okay, this is a reason factor detail. So one star idea or one reason why I would choose to vacation in Florida is because of the weather. So on the left-hand side, you see I have a star and weather because that's one reason. That's one um, fact or detail why I would want to vacation in Florida. Then I'm going to use my T-chart to kind of organize some of the reasons why the weather in Florida or kind of explain myself, explain myself, explain why the weather in Florida is a reason for me to vacation there. So uh, through my research, I, I, I know that the weather in Florida, it's mainly sunny and warm. And so I want a vacation somewhere where you know, I don't have to worry about the cold or the rain. And so if you can see, I have there one reason, weather, and some examples of the weather in Florida. Now I'm not going to end there. I'm going to think of more reasons why Florida would be my choice of place to vacation. So I would come up with another star idea and it would be because of the places that I could visit while in Florida. Now I'm going to have to explain myself. I'm not just going to end there. I'm going to explain or show or give an example of places I could visit in Florida. So, and you notice it's in red, and because red is all about explaining or giving examples, those are the E's, remember? So, one place I would like to visit if I get to go to Florida would be Disney World. And another would be the Kennedy Space Center. Hmm kind of see where where they um, where all of the spaceships take off from and I know there's a cool museum there okay so I've already kind of have some ideas of what I'm going to write about and I'm going to come up with one more star idea so another reason why I would want a vacation in Florida is because of the activities that I could do there and I'm going to give some examples again. I'm going to explain myself with the ease. 
I know that snorkeling is great. There's lots of places to snorkel and I can probably see a lot of different kinds of um, sea creatures than what I see here in Hawaii. And another example would be, of course, I love shopping and so I could do a lot of shopping in Florida. So as you can see, before I've even started writing anything in paragraph form or sentences about answering the writing prompt, I started with a T-chart. And the T-chart will help me to kind of gather my thoughts, organize them in some logical manner. Okay, now, let's go and see how this would look like in a paragraph. So I, I have my T-chart. I've answered, I'm going to go back and check and read my writing prompt and make sure that I answered the question correctly. So the writing prompt is asking me, if you could take a vacation anywhere in the world, where would it be? And I said, okay, it'll be Florida. And I said, well, one reason, one star idea would be the weather. And I have some examples there and I see, well, okay, the next would be visits. And I have some example there and I have some activities. Um, okay, so it looks like I'm ready to start writing my paragraph. This is what um, a paragraph would look like based upon this T-chart. So as I'm writing my step up to writing paragraph, I'm going to always look back at this T-chart to help me to make sure that I'm organized. I have my thoughts organized. Okay, and now you're going to see a pattern when you, um, when you see the paragraph that I'm going to write. Okay, so I know we haven't learned, you haven't learned all of these different parts of a, par of a step up to writing paragraph yet, but I'm going to use um, the terminology that you'll be hearing just so that you know. But just taking a look at this paragraph, you can see that there's some kind of pattern going on. It's, it starts off with the green, then with yellow, then red, yellow, red, yellow, red, and then green. Okay, so I'm going to read to you my paragraph based upon what I wrote in my t-chart. So here's my topic sentence and this is an occasion position topic sentence. While there are many places to vacation at, comma, I would choose to go to Florida. One reason I would choose Florida to vacation at is because of its weather. Now you remember I talked about weather as my first star idea and it's in yellow. It was on, it was in yellow on my t-chart and you know that it's, it's yellow in my paragraph here. Florida is known for their sunny skies. Who wants to be in the rain on their vacation? The weather in Florida is also warm and comfortable. And so this, the, this, these three sentences are known as my ease. I'm explaining why I would choose to vacation in Florida is because of the weather. Okay, and it matched up to what I wrote in my T-chart. Another reason I would choose to go to Florida on vacation is the places I could visit there. So here is my second star idea and I would visit. Disney World would be my first stop and I would spend many days there. The Kennedy Space Center would also be a very interesting and educational place to tour. And lastly, Activity choices in Florida is another reason I would choose to go there. And that was my third star idea, and I'm going to explain again. I heard the snorkeling in Florida is just fabulous, being able to see so many ocean creatures. Besides snorkeling, the shopping options in Florida are amazing. Okay, so just right there, the yellow and the reds, I got all of those ideas from my T-chart what I had organized earlier. Now this last green is known as my conclusion. Indeed, there are plenty of other places to vacation at. Nevertheless, my vacation destination would definitely be Florida. This is an example of a complete step up to writing paragraph. And, and you're gonna always start off, and today's lesson is about T-charts. You always wanna start off with a T-chart. So let's take a look at another example. So another example, here's another writing prompt. Which beaches are your favorite and explain why? Okay, so your teacher could give you this writing prompt. What would you say? What would you write about? Okay, again, instead of just 
getting your pencil and paper out and start writing a few sentences down and you know not knowing what direction you're going to go in start off with a t-chart okay and so the topic will be my favorite beaches and again i'm going to start off with a yellow a star idea and what will my star ideas be it will be my favorite beaches because that's what it's asking right which beaches are your favorite so obviously I'm going to talk about my favorite beaches. It's not asking me what I like to do at the beach. It's not asking me who I go to the beach with. With It's not asking me what I bring to the beach. It's asking me which beaches are my favorite and explain why. So my star ideas, my yellow stars on the side would be, and I always like three, I'll give three of my favorite beaches, okay? So here, here you'll see. Okay, so my one of my favorite beaches is Bellows. And of course, I'm going to, my tea chart, I'm going to explain why, why it's my favorite beach. I like going to Bellows because um, there's a nice campground. And we go there and camp for a week at a time. Another reason I like Bellows is because of its white, fine sand. Okay, then I'm going to have another star idea. It's going to be another beach that is my favorite, Waimea Bay. Uh, I, I like watching and looking at the big waves, watching the surfers there, and I think it's fun jumping off the rock. The last beach that I think that I like, White Plains. I like it because it's a good surf spot and I love it because of the parking tons of parking no worries there okay so today's lesson is all about t-charts and about um, reasons why we use t-charts and the reason we use them is is that we need to get our thoughts down and organized before you can actually start writing your paragraph okay thank you very much bye bye